So guys, for the first step, you wanna go to the link, which will be down below in the description to download Microsoft Visual C++. And now once you're on this, you wanna scroll down. There's gonna be two downloads right here, one for x86 and one for x64. We're going to download both of them. So just click on both of them to start downloading both of them. Wait for this to load. And now once they've been downloaded, we're just gonna right click on one of them and then click on show and folder. And we should now be in our downloads folder with both of these downloads. So now we're just gonna download both of them. We're gonna start with the first one. So for me, it's gonna be x86. I'm gonna double click on it. And now once this comes up, you wanna tick the box, I agree. And then click on install. And then click on yes. It's now gonna start installing. And then once that's been done, you wanna click on close. Now we're gonna install the other one. It's now gonna be x64 for me. I've already installed x86. So I'm gonna double click on x64 now. And again, you wanna click on I agree and then click on install. And then click on yes. And then once that's been installed, you wanna click on close. And we've now installed both of them. And now for the next step, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you wanna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. And now you want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be fully completed. And now once that's been done, we're gonna run one more scan. So we're gonna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health and then click on enter again and you now to run this scan as well wait for this to load and now once you complete both the scans for the last step you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed